Okay, so hello, my name is Suzanne, and I've been a tutor at STLCC uh, for about four or five years, since about 2017 or 2018. Before that, I was a personal tutor and also a piano teacher. So these are my uh, personal observations based on my experience as a tutor. Um, not everything will apply to everyone all the time, but if you refer to these principles, they will help you 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm willing to bet. And so this is a tutor's observation of universal learning methods. And this is what I call a four tent pole approach. But first, I want to give you a few study tips for everyone, for yourself and for your students that you'll be tutoring, so they can be studying without screaming. So the first thing that I say to my students is to drink orange juice, to drink a glass of orange juice before you study, and then drink a glass of orange juice before you go in to take the test. There's two reasons to do this. Um, first, your brain runs on sugar, it runs on glucose. And so orange juice is gonna give you instant brain food, so to speak, to get your brain synapses flowing and it will automatically you know wake your brain up and give your brain some food with which to digest all the information you'll be setting also uh, why orange juice well i made the mistake of telling a student one time that your brain runs on glucose so you know make sure you get some glucose some sugar before you study and before you take the test and so she <laughs> She ate a whole bunch of Halloween candy before going in and taking the test. Well, she got into her class and the teacher lectured for half an hour before passing out the test. So by the time she got ready to take the actual test in class, she was on a sugar crash and couldn't concentrate and uh, did poorly on the test. So I try to specify orange juice not just any old type of sugar because you will have a sugar crash if you just eat a bunch of candy before that. Also, orange juice has calcium, magnesium, and potassium in it, which are also uh, vitamins that are good brain food um, that's going to help wake your brain up and get your brain juices flowing. And so that orange juice is, is not gonna give you that sugar crash. Uh, I guess you could say that it's more of a time-released uh, brain food than Halloween candy. Also, the second reason that you're going to drink orange juice right before you study and then right before you take the test is because there was a study at Johns Hopkins uh, University not too long ago, and they found that if you recreated the sensory input before taking a test, the same as sensory input that you had while you were studying for the test, it improves your recall. So if you are used to drinking orange juice right before you study, and then you study, say, math or anatomy and physiology, and then you drink a glass of juice right before you go in and take the test on that material, then that sensory input your brain is going to recognize the orange juice and go, oh, we're talking about math right now. And it's going to uh, access those memories that you have uh, programmed into your brain much faster and your recall is gonna be a lot faster and a lot more clear. Color code your notes. I'm a big fan of color coding notes. I'm also a big fan of writing in ink, not pencil. A lot of students, especially math students, have a tendency to uh, take their notes in pencil so they can erase their mistakes. Uh, I think that's a mistake. I think you should leave your mistakes in your notes so when you're going back over the material, you can see where you went wrong. And also it helps if you, especially if you're a visual learner, and you can see where you messed up and you can see where it's scratched out and you can uh, go back and refer to that so you don't make that same mistake again. If you're doing math or whatever it is you're studying and you're constantly erasing all of your mistakes, you're not going to have any record in your notes of 
where you and get tripped up of, of what where you have problems with and so then you're not going to be able to say go back and say oh I need to focus on doing problems like this because this always trips me up so I'm a big fan of writing in ink scratching out your uh, just drawing a line through your mistakes not erasing it not using pencil and color coding definitely color code your notes and, and uh, I'll, I said it once I'll say it again this especially helps if you are a visual learner so time management very important and very very much needed when you're a college student and through life but time management is something we all struggle with as a student so you what you want to do at first you want to study and memorize just a small amount of material at a time a small amount of material at a time you do not want to bite off more than you can chew so they say you want to do this small amount of material every day for two to three weeks before the big test so you want to take little tiny pieces of the material of what you're going to get tested on study that just focus on that don't worry about the rest of it and then the next day do the same thing go back to what you were studying the day before and refresh on that again and then add to that and then add another small amount of material over the course of the next couple of days and then add to that add another small amount of material over the course of the next couple of days and you do that every day for you know two to three weeks before you have a big test the teachers provide syllabuses syllabi and schedules so you know when your tests are coming up so the second thing I have listed here is you want to look at your calendar look at your calendar and count backwards two to three weeks from the test break up those two to three weeks uh, and, and divide that into the small sections of everything that you're going to need to know for that test break it up and so you're spending a couple of days on a small section at a time and focus on just one section for two to three days in a row before moving on repetition repetition is necessary repetition is very necessary you cannot study something one day and then move on to the next thing and then you get to the test and you wonder why you're drawing a blank when you sit down and look at the test questions you have to repeat what you're studying over and over again and do practice problems if there's if this is chemistry or math you're studying or refresh the material refresh yourself on the material and I have some tips on how to do that later on in this PowerPoint um, but the point is repetition is necessary did I say that already repetition is necessary every day for two to three days you should review and quiz yourself over the same material the same material because you do not want to go over that in one day in one study session and go oh I've got this and then move on you want to review constantly all the way up until the test and then finally don't give yourself a panic attack by trying to memorize everything at once and this goes along with what I've just been saying you cannot sit down for four hours and memorize the entire book or memorize the entire chapter for your test you can't cram it all in and expect yourself to remember it because one one because repetition is necessary and two your brain is only going to hold a small amount of that information you're trying to cram into it which is why if we go back up to the first thing that I have listed here study and memorize just a small amount of material at a time so chip away at it do small sections at a time they say uh, the saying goes Rome wasn't built in a day well because Rome was this vast empire this huge empire and it had technology 
and uh, irrigation and beautiful uh, architecture but no Rome didn't pop up overnight likewise you're not going to be able to learn an entire semester of chemistry in one sitting you're not going to be able to learn an entire uh, how to use the quadratic formula to solve uh, math problems in one sitting you have to chip away at it you have to start small little things will add up to big things little things add up to big things so do not put all this pressure on yourself that's another thing students will put pressure on themselves to uh, learn the entire thing at once and then when they don't do it or they can't do it they feel like a failure which is absolutely uh, incorrect they're not a failure they're just putting too much pressure on themselves and they're setting themselves up to fail you have to do it in small sections so the process of studying uh, is and some of this is repetitive but again repetition is necessary the pro in the process of studying you don't pull marathon study sessions you will not remember it all if you sit down and study for four hours your brain is only going to retain like the first 20 30 minutes of what you studied and the other three and a half hours that you studied is going to be a lost cause it's going to be pointless because your brain's not going to retain all of that information that you pour into it at once you need to give your brain time to process what you're going over and so you need the repetition to refresh what you've gone over and do some practice problems and work them out and you uh, are only going to come up with even if you go to all the lectures read the book attend the class do everything right your brain is still only going to you're only going to walk away with about 60 percent of what you studied so if you pull a marathon study session what happens is your brain is there for it the first 20 30 minutes and then after that it's going to start to get hazy and you're not going to be able to remember it all so what you do do is study in 10 20 40 minute increments at a time you take frequent breaks because you got to give your brain time to process the information a lot of times um, uh, my what I do sometimes when I'm working on something really heavy is I'll study for half an hour 40 minutes and I'll take a short little nap and I'll wake up and the information will seem so much more clear that it, it'll be makes so much more sense why because I've given my brain time to process that information and then I can move on to the next thing so when you are studying the first thing you do first refresh what you studied the last so whatever you studied yesterday when you sit down to study that topic that subject again today the first thing you should be doing is going over what you studied yesterday don't add don't start with new information go back and go over what you studied yesterday first then you can study some new material and of course anything you don't understand make a note and ask your tutor